Your yeah, thoughts? that's exactly right, Maria. I mean, he's sitting here slow rolling this war and Russia's already achieved its natural goal. Its goal was to take Mariupol, which is the coastway, and then also to take over Odessa and the Black Sea. Again, their idea between President Vladimir Putin and Chairman Xi is to achieve and advance the One Road, One Belt initiative. That essentially means that they had to expand out the Eurasian border, take over Africa and take over Oceania to recreate a maritime Silk Road. And then he, on top of this, you see China putting billions of dollars into portage and also into overland railways so that they can control the supply chain. This is economic resource warfare against America. They want to cut off the Horn of Africa, the Mediterranean, the Red Sea, the Persian Gulf, control resources. And at the same time, they want to eliminate, as they have for two and a half decades, they want to eliminate the U.S. dollar from being the global currency. We see this as China is already advancing their talks with Saudi Arabia and OPEC to replace the petrodollar for the petro want. So we have to look at a bigger picture than just the kinetic element of this and start looking into what the real geopolitical alignment is and how Russia, China, Iran, and North Korea have launched their wars against America for over the last two and a half decades that Biden's ignoring. Well, you obviously bring to the table a wealth of knowledge and experience from the combat zone and an understanding of the adversaries that we face. Tell us a bit about your campaign and what we need to understand about those adversaries, whether it be China and its plans, Russia and, of course, Iran as well. Well, I'll tell you, I think that what we need to realize is, is that these events that are occurring internationally are intrinsically linked to domestic policies. And each time the Biden administration makes this faux pas by leaving open borders where we had in December 2000 Russians, 300 Ukrainians cross our border, 160 various nations, not the refugee and children they're talking about. When you start looking at the fact that they're trying to detract away from the oil hike or the gas price hike, the Biden inflation that's going on and blame it on Russia, these are always the attempt by failed presidents who don't understand domestic policies by trying to detract away and create international incidents. So what our campaign is looking to do is things like make Title 42 a permanent policy, make sure that our CBP is properly able to secure our borders, make sure that we look at energy independence, make sure we're looking at domestic production because nothing will stop the Russia-China-Iran alignment for resource economic uh, uh, warfare than America getting back to making things here at home. That's what's really going to advance us is domestic policy. Policy, American first and securing our borders.